You're just gonna stand there? Can I take your gun? Oh, I can. Ooh. Do you like it when I stroke your gun? Does that make you feel better? Think you could let me out of here now? Shut the doors and open the gas valves. Wait, what? <laughs> no! No! Hello everybody and welcome to a game that we have been waiting for for a very long time here on the channel. And if you haven't guessed it already by the sight of this peanut man, or this creepy dude down here in the corner, it is SCP Labrat in VR. For those of you who don't know what this game is, it's basically a faithful recreation of SCP Containment Breach here in virtual reality. But not only that, but the developers have also done a bit of work on trying to get the game up to scratch. Just general bug fixes, maybe some graphic overhauls on some of the, the, the textures, the models, whatnot, just to make the game a bit more up to scratch here in virtual reality. So we're going to be diving into the game almost blind. I used to watch SCB Containment Breach back when it first came out, but I didn't really keep up to date with it from there. So some of the SCPs that I have seen, like, for instance, SCP-173 and SCP-096, I, I know about. But most of the other SCPs surrounding that, I'm not too sure about. So there's going to be a bit of exploration there. And I'll also be kind of giving you an explanation of what the SCP Foundation is, just to kind of get everybody up to scratch and introduce some people to the SCP universe, because it's a fun, it's a fun topic. It really is. So let's just dive in and get into it once we're in there. Wow. Back in our old cell again. It's been far too long. So we have our blink meter here, which will all become apparent later on, and a sprint. I believe there's a button around here, there you go. I can force myself to blink as and when we need it. And yeah, other than that, let's get comfortable. What have we got here? Orientation leaflet for the Class D personnel. As you can see, our character is D9341. Do you mind for a second? I'm talking. Thank you. And other than that, there's a bunch of other stuff on the table here. We probably need to leave the cell because we're, we're going to get killed by these people in a second. But look at the size of this toilet. Of the cell. I'm the getting cell there. Cell, I'm going to kick your ass. Oh, you think so, right? Okay. Let me give a little protest here. Ah. What are you going to do now? If I could flip you off, I would now. You have got to be the dumbest test subject we've ever had. Oh, you think? Well, shut the doors and open the gas valves. Wait, what? <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Let me out! I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm saluting. I don't know if this is what you should do, but I'm saluting anyway. Hey, they've got some work for you. Hello. Do me a favor and step out of your cell. Roger that. Just follow me. Oh, and by the way, we're authorized to kill any disobedient test subjects, so don't try anything stupid. You guys are really tall. Like, really tall. I'm quite uh, a so small man here. Any good movies lately? Uh, I, I don't really watch movies. I mostly just read books. Yeah? What kind of books? Uh, horror, science fiction, anything like that. <laughs> That's ironic. You're kidding me. What? Your whole job revolves around horror and science fiction. Except, Literally. You know, it's not actually fiction. Hello. Well, actually, I'm planning on writing a book about my Yeah, experience. look, no offense, but I've already lost interest in what you're talking about. <laughs> Ouch! Doctor savage! Caldera, report to gate A. Ooh, sorry. Personnel. Sorry. We're moving, we're moving. This guy seems to be stuck. Well, we're here. I'm still disappointed I didn't get to punch you in the face, but... Uh, about that. Oh, and by the way... Did you pull out your ass? Thank you. You just gonna stand there? Can I take your gun? Oh, I can. Ooh. Do you like it when I stroke your gun? Does that make you feel better? Think you could let me out of here now? Maybe? Alright, well, be seeing ya. I got work to do, unlike you. Just sitting there, doing nothing. So this is SCP-173, and for those of you who have been living under a rock, SCP-173 is basically a weeping angel from Doctor Who. The object cannot move while within a direct line of sight, and must not be broken, or a direct line of sight must not be broken at any time with SCP-173. Basically, you look away, this guy will fly at you at a good million mile an hour and probably try to kill us all. Do you guys need to study? Oh, you've done your homework. You guys are tall too. How you doing? Alright, let's do this. Oh, 
Okay, I'll get in the pose too. You guys first. I'll just watch from here. Actually, I want to get a good look while we can. Hello. Can I touch it? Ah, I'm touching it! Poke. Poke. Ah! Everything will be fine. Everything is not fine. Keeping looking. Keeping looking. Keeping looking. And we're here. We have arrived in the facility. So, now that the introduction's out of the way, let's get on to the SCP Foundation. So SCP stands for Secure, Contain, Protect, as the, as the logo says there. And it's basically an organization of people who are tasked with capturing and studying anything that kind of stands out from the normal daily life of, of like your average human being. So for instance, uh, maybe like a cat that wags its tail is quite common. That's a fairly normal thing. But maybe a cat that uses its tail as a propeller and flies around, that's a very abnormal thing. So the, the SCP Foundation will be out to get that cat. But that's quite a, quite a tame example, and more often than not, some of these SCPs will turn out to be a lot more malicious than that. So the SCP Foundation will go and gather them. They're quite extreme in their measures, as you can see, these guys with the guns, they, they killed me multiple times trying to get here, so... They, they will do it whatever it takes to kind of make sure that humanity is safe and that everyone is protected from these abnormalities. Uh, SCP-173 that were introduced earlier is one such abnormality. And I'm sure as we go through this facility here, there's going to be many, many more. Uh, most SCPs are kind of captured and sent to a, a facility where they are studied and sometimes used, very rarely used, to capture other SCPs but um, mostly just for, for studying. And in that occurrence, sometimes things go wrong, and sometimes all of the SCPs are let loose on the facility, which results in a containment breach, and utter madness and death and pain. And it's just generally not a very fun time. So now it's up to us to escape. Who am I? Um, you used to have a full body here, but I've turned him off in the settings, but basically I am a D-Class. Those guys in the orange pajamas, I'm one of them. D-classes are basically ex-prisoners, or technically still prisoners, but people who are on death's row. And they were basically given a choice. You can either be killed by the government, or you can go to the SCP Foundation and work on studying these abnormalities, these SCPs, uh, for a chance to get to go home, basically. A chance to live. Oh. God. So when my blink counter goes down here, and we have no choice on the matter of when it goes down, you'll see that SCP-173 will make a move. Or not. That's generally a good thing. I'm not sure if in this game SCP-173 can open doors. Hello. But let's give it a blink and see. Oh, he's moved. Where is he moved? Oh, there you are. Okay, let me blink again. No, so I think generally we should be safe here, which is always nice. Good to know. So I'm going to look away. I don't think this one can open doors. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Good. What have we got here? Another document? You hear that hideous scraping noise? This thing's stuck in my fingers. Oh, God. That is SCP-173 on the move. Let me try and pick this thing up. What are we looking at? This is SCP-106. SCP-106, if we look at the orange text here, he has no physical inter- Oh, no physical interaction with 106 is allowed at any time. Uh, any corrosion observed on any containment cell services, staff members, or other site locations within 200 meters of SCP-106 are to be reported to the site immediately. SCP-106 is capable of passing through solid matter. So basically, SCP-106 is an old man who is able to walk through walls, walk through floors, fly around. And I think he just, when he catches us, he generally teleports us into a hideous dimension. No, no, never fear, it's just 106. And 173, sorry, he should be in here somewhere. We'll be fine. Uh, so I have an inventory system. 
And we got a level 1 access card. That's definitely going to help with our escape. I don't think I can open any of these. It's probably for the best. We'll be here all day with this filing cabinet. Jesus. What else we got? Oh, batteries. That could be useful. Not quite sure what we'd use them for. But people who have watched SCP Containment Breach for a long time probably know a lot more than I do. Let's carry on. What? How? You bastard! I should mention this game is in early access, so sometimes bugs will happen. That's just something we have to kind of deal with. It's kind of like being back in the old days of when SCB Containment Breach first kind of came out, which is it's fun. It's good to be back in this stage again, but on a different hardware platform altogether. It's very weird. Alright, we're back. And it's also completely random, so... Every time you die and you come back, the, the facility has been randomized. So the way out is always different every single time you play, which is good fun. I'm not opening this door because I've actually played it a couple of times before while I got like used to the settings and everything. And SCP-173 almost always starts in that room, so it's just pure death. And it's not really something that I want to kind of tackle right now because we're trying to escape. Or at least get as far through the facility as we can. Oh my god! Nice of you to drop in. So that'll be 106. He managed to pass this guy through the floor. He generally leaves around like a bunch of gooey stuff that if you stand in you tend to slow down, which makes him all the more threatening at chasing you. We want to be careful with that. It's interesting that we have a shadow, but we don't have a... Oh, we do have a body. Okay. I think some of the settings must have reverted. Oh well. Well, there you go. We got we got our homage pajamas now, and we're doing a, a weird like half squat. We walk around like a hideous alien. Oh god. <laughs> so a bit more background on the SCP Foundation. SCPs are generally stored in three different containment types. You've got safe class SCPs, Euclid class SCPs, and this is decontamination, right? Not just pure death. And Euclid class SCPs. Yeah, it's decontamination. So each one of those are basically ranked on how difficult it is to contain an SCP, not necessarily how harmful an SCP is. So for instance, you could have a Euclid class SCP that is basically um, like a box that teleports around. So sometimes it will just randomly teleport out of its cell. So that would be considered Euclid because it's annoying and, it, and it, it's hard to contain, but it's not necessarily dangerous or harmful in any way. What have we got here? SCP-1123, Object Class Euclid. I think we discovered this on the demo that we first checked out. This was the skull that gave us those horrible flashbacks. I guess we'll check it out. Part of the fun of the SCP Foundation is all just about exploring some of the, uh, the weird and wonderful abnormalities that exist and, and the weird interactions that you can do with them. So what have we got here? SCP-1123 with a massive don't touch on it, so you know exactly what I'm going to be doing. Uh, can I read this? When a subject approaches SCP-1123, they will report anomalous sensory phenomena. Cool. So it's like a drug skull. What does this button do? Oh, it just it comes out the wall, that's what it does. I don't think it does too much. That's fine. So is 1123 in here? There it is. So this would be considered a safe class SCP because it's a skull. It's not going anywhere. You can just put it in any old box. Do you hear that scraping? That means 173 is on the move. Hopefully we're safe in here, but judging by what happened last time, he could just bug through the walls and come and kill us. Uh, I'll put this in here. We have ourselves a gas mask. That could be very handy. And I guess we'll go check out SCP-17. Oh, we need a key card. Okay, well, we'll have to come back. That's fine. As long as we're alive, we're, we're always doing better. Um, I should close our doors. You never know what's going to come and get us. So really, my whole job here is just to escape and uh, go see my family, which would be nice as a D-class. Been in here for far too long, especially on death's row. Although I may not have a family, and I could still be psychotic, I guess. Okay, we're here again. I'm gonna get the hell out of here pretty quickly. Because I do not want to be here again when that thing happens and he comes and gets us. 
We got a level one key card, so maybe we can use that to go back and see what SCP-1123 was it was all about. Let's go do that. All right, that door is closed, so if I turn around and die, I'm coming for you, Bezbro. Here we go, SCP-1123. Hopefully it's a level one. I think I opened that. <laughs> I love that we can put our hands under the buttons. That's exactly how that works. What do we got here? Nice friggin' sight. I got lost four times just trying to find the main security hub. What the hell is with this place? I tried to warn you, it was a modular design theory command cooked up. Set sections, installed as needed and where needed. It was supposed to make expansion or recovery a lot easier, but it didn't really catch on. You'll get lost a couple of times, but you'll figure it out eventually. What is that noise? Is that part of the sensory behavior? I guess we'll find out. Let's go. Level three? What is this SCP? My god. So the personnel go all the way from, I think it's A class all the way down to like E? Something like that, perhaps? A class being like the most top end executive directors of the SCP Foundation. E class being even more worthless than people on death row. Which is quite hard to be, but if you're one of them, then I feel bad for you. That's for sure. Ooh! Where's he gone? Right, if I go through here... I expect not to randomly die again. Here we go. We are playing this on Keta difficulty, which is the hardest difficulty. But I figured if we've done SCP Blackout before and we've managed to get through S uh, on Blackout difficulty, we'll be okay. What? Where is he? Let's get the hell out of here before he finds us. Anything useful in here? What is this box? That looks kind of fun. Oh god, there's a hatch in this one. What the hell crawled out of here? Oh, I don't like this at all. I've completely run out of my torch, which isn't a good thing. We're gonna need to find a battery somewhere. I'm gonna close this. As is the way in this game. Left? Left sounds like a good idea. Left sounds like a bad idea. Bad idea. We need to go somewhere where there are lights currently. Until we find a battery at least. Nope. Third door lucky? Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that'll do it. What do we got here? Some kind of lift? Ah. Cool. Let's go. So, uh, I, I've been keeping an eye on the original SCP Containment Breach, and then it turned into a bit of a short game that you could do in, like, one sitting, all the way into a very long game that you had to have multiple save points in. So I'm not sure if this game saves at all, or if we do have to kind of get it through, or get through it in one go. I might be. Who's over there? No one? Oh god. Oh god, I need the gas mask. No, 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 That's 106, that's 106, that's 106. We just gotta go. I don't know how far he chases us, but we just gotta go. We gotta go, we gotta go. He's gonna come through the walls. He's just gonna melt through the wall in a minute. Ah! I don't know where you are! Oh my god, no! No! Let me alone! He's munching on me. He's munching on me. I think I'm generally okay. How are there's two of you? Just keep running! That dog seems a lot friendlier than it's meant to be. I I think we probably should have been dead by now. Can you leave me alone for two seconds, please? Please? It's me! The D-Class that wants to escape! This is a bit awkward, isn't it? Just ignore the fact that I'm actually okay. Everything's fine. They've just got me and my army of darkness. Oh no, dead end? What have I done? I think if I can get round 106 without getting hit, we should be okay. I've unlocked God Mode! <laughs> Ouch. Never mind. 
So I had a look and apparently there is a save game feature, which is incredibly good. Uh, I'm not sure if we can actually activate that thing. We've got save and quit here and last saved um, zero minutes ago. So we can save it there. It seems to save it. That's good. So we, we can now save it moving forwards. So this is the run that we are going to escape on, whether we like it or not. And this time, I'm going to save my torch. Because, boy howdy do I need to save my torch. Oh, it just feels good to be back in the SCP, the realm again. It's been way, way, way too long. Oh, I should also mention that the SCP Foundation is not just, like, invented in video games. It actually originates from a, a Wikipedia page. Or not, maybe not a Wikipedia page, but like a creative writing group that have their own website. And it's basically a bunch of people that write the, the research logs for all of these SCPs. And uh, basically through that you're able to invent your own SCP. You could even do it as well. Any person can go on the website and basically uh, submit their own version of an SCP. And basically this game is just invented from people who went to the wiki and uh, did some research on what the SCP Foundation is, did a bit of reading, just kind of generally enjoyed what they saw, and then thought, you know what, we need to kind of expand this to the masses, let's make a video game out of it. So that's exactly why this is happening as it is. I don't like a door that says caution on it. I definitely don't like a door that says caution on it. Where is the button in there to get out? So presumably I'm going to need to go through there at some point, but I guess for now I'll just turn away and we'll randomly die, because why not? Fortunately my save game feature came into effect, so we're just going to have to keep saving it a lot more rapidly than that to get through this. I do plan to get out of this, regardless. You can move through walls all you like, but we will escape this. I like the finger, we will escape this. We will. Uh, what do you think? It's customary to go left. <clears throat> it's customary to go left. It, it, a lot of people like to go left, so we'll go forwards. You know, why? Why change the direction you're going if you can just go in a straight line? We're back in the caution door. The last time we went there, we got absolutely murdered. So no. Nope. Let's try to avoid buggy situations while we can. The team are working quite hard on this, so I figured that, like, as time goes on, like, very, like, there'll be a lot of rapid hot fixes to get this game up to scratch. A lot of people will be reporting bugs, and, and I believe in the team that they'll get this working. And I think there's only actually two people working on SCP Labrat. My game is wibbling wobbling, I don't know what you guys can see. No, you guys are alright, okay. As long as that's okay, I'll just cope with the wibble wobble. The Modular Site Project. So, most of the SCP facilities are held in weird and wonderful locations, like underwater, or in space, or in places that you'd never really guess. This one looks to be underground, perhaps? Ah, the Omega Warhead. So I think every SCP facility is basically fitted with a nuke, in case things go wrong. Then they will basically just detonate the facility, wiping out all of the SCPs, and all of the evidence, and all of the research that they've ever done. Which is kind of sad, and a bit of a waste, but what can you do? What happened here? Was that a button? Sure. Okay, so we're back in this dodgy place again. I'm going to make sure to consciously save it. There you go. I don't want to have to do those three minutes again. And I'll make sure to turn the torch off when we don't need it. Although, it is really, really dark. Okay, so straight ahead hasn't really served as well so far, so I'm going to go to the right this time. I think our goal is to kind of get back to that elevator again. That's probably the way to go. And judging by it, that giant red dog thing, basically... It seemed to be making those scientist noises. So it must be able to mimic speech. I've actually completely forgot to shut all the doors behind me, so that's already a massive mistake. I'll do it now. Oh, we've got to have a level 1 keycard here. Or at least a level 1. Alright, back we go. Did I go this way? Yeah, I've been this way. So there are actually two main... Well, now that this game has been released, there are two main VR SCP games out. And that is SCP Blackout and SCP Labrat now. So SCP Blackout has been a bit of a love child here on the channel. I played it as my first ever game, my first ever Let's Play, and we've kind of been following the game ever since it's kind of moved through its various update processes. 
The last time we played the game regrettably, I had to play it in desktop mode because in its current state, virtual reality is kind of out of bounds, it's broken. But the developers are slowly working on, on the fixes for that. It's just, it takes time. They, they've been having problems with just trying to get general money, what with the, the current state of the world and everything. So it, development has been slow, but they are still working on it and we will eventually at one point get a new update for that game. And it's going to be a big one again, whereas the last one kind of refactored the way that the ending worked. This new update's going to kind of refactor the way that the, the beginning of the game works. So it'll be really interesting to check that out again when it drops here, whenever, whenever it drops. So this is SCP-008, whatever that is. SCP-008 is a complex prion, samples of which are stored in each of the known G2 sites. Traits of SCP-008 prion includes 100% infectiousness, 100% lethality and transmission through exposed, I don't know what that says, something, membranes and all bodily fluids. I think it's mucus. Subject will attempt to ingest living humans physical contact, if, if physical contact is made. SCP-500 has been found to be able to completely cure SCP-008 even in the advanced stages of the disease. Okay, so that seems to be some form of hideous object that will give us a hideous disease, and I guess we don't really need that at the moment. So I've collected everything I needed, so yes, we're going to save it, even though 173 is right there, which is probably a bad thing. I'm going to go ahead and put this torch in my inventory, because that way I'm not inclined to use it. We do have a battery, so that's always good, but at least if I'm not inclined to use it, then nothing bad can happen. Let's go left. I'll go to my mental urges and go left. Now we need the torch. Is this the torch? That's, that's a mask. This is the torch. Ouch. Blinded. We got a bit of charge before it runs out, so that's okay. This looks like it must be the way out. It's a very big sealed door, that's for sure. That's about all it is. So we'll, we'll walk back. I'm actually playing this game on medium graphics because basically the... Um, the, the game is quite buggy, or laggy, if I go any higher than this, because I'm also using a smoothed camera feature, which I want to thank Besbro personally for implementing. I recommended that they should have some form of smooth camera system, just because it's one of those things that VR always should have. A lot of VR games kind of skip that, that opportunity. If I turned it off and shook my head, like I'm actually shaking my head now, it would probably make you guys feel sick. But because we because we have the stabilized camera, we don't get that feeling. So it's really good for people watching VR games, and I think almost every game should have that feature. So I'm really happy to see that it's implemented here. And I think it's gonna go a long way for getting people to kind of watch content of this game. So yeah, big thanks to Besbrew for that. It seems like level three is really the way to go. So until we get a level three key card, there's not a lot we can do. This room looks important, saving. It seems there's also an auto save feature, which is quite nice. Okay, we're out of batteries. Can I just go ahead and plug this in? Nice! That's fairly easy. Aha, uh -huh, we can go in here. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Oh, it's a swinging door. That's kind of cool. I like it. Another level one key card. We don't need that anymore. Uh, that's a huge old document. Don't need that. Alright, nothing to see here. I could try going out that way, or I could try for one of the other doors. If we go straight ahead, it's easier to memorize where I've been. Let's go that way. This looks like another one of those sealed off doors, yeah. Okay, that's fine. I guess the, uh... Don't forget today is pizza day! Who's the pizza? I'm probably the pizza in this facility. It's D-Class Pizza! Oh god, it's never a good sign to see this. <laughs> he gets dropped with so much force. It's like... Bleh. Another locked door. They've really sealed this place off. Hopefully they're not going to detonate the warhead. I need to get out of here first. Uh-oh. 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 I think I'm walking straight into 173, but we don't have a choice here, we just gotta get the hell out. Oh god, gas, 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 gas. Shut this door. The guy's gonna come through the walls any second now, let me out! 
Oh, ho, ho, ho. We gotta get in the left. We gotta get in the left. I don't think I can sprint any faster than this. Let me through the doors. Let me go. How far will you chase us? Is that it now? Is this just my fate? Am I forever doomed to die here? Let me go. Let me go. Go away. Can I flash the torch on him? Stay back. I got a light. It's not working. It's not working. Running, 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 running. I can still hear him. I can still hear him. I don't think, like, not looking at him. We seem to have unlocked a square so we can just sprint around this forever. It'll be fine. Everything will be fine. We'll just keep juking him. He's still chasing us. He's still chasing us. I mean, why would he stop, realistically? Oh! <coughs> Let me through. I don't think we have a health bar. We should be fine. Okay, that's shutting. We're going back around the square again. Oh, I can go through the lift this time. Go! 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 Over to there. Ouch! Click this. Ignore the fact that that man's coming. He may or may not come, actually. It's completely random. <coughs> Don't like it in here! <coughs> and then we can activate the lift, which is probably exactly where we need to be. To progress here. So activate the lift. Get in the lift. That's another level one. Are you alive? You're just having a little wiggle. A little boogie. Boof, 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 boof. Nice. Can I, can I can just grab him? Oh, I'm so strong. Okay. Anyway. You hang back there. I feel like a superhero. This guy's got weird zero G while we're in the lift. He floats around. <laughs> Woo! Let's take him with us. What's your, what's your name? Gonzalez. Jim Gonzalez. Hello, everybody. This is Jim. One eyed Jim. Jimmy Jim Jim Gonzalez. You stay over there. Are we out now? Oh, the lift doesn't work. Ah. Well, that's a problem. Well, I think that would do it there. So, thank you very much for watching. It's been crazy getting back into this game after nine years it's it's really crazy so thank you very much for everyone who's come along to check out this game and i hope you're as excited as i am uh, it's completely free on steam so as i mentioned before just feel free to go ahead and download that straight away and go check it out and also go into the discord i'll leave a link down in the description where you can go into the discord and leave the developers his name is bedsbro a huge thank you because i don't think he's actually had any like maybe motivation to do this i don't think he's had any payments no contracts or anything he's just a guy that wanted to get this game in virtual reality and he's gone ahead and made that dream possible so massive thank you to besbro games for making this game and anyone involved in the team as well it's it's really great and i'd love to see as the hot fixes come along this game kind of improve and get better as well and really just kind of push the scp foundation to new levels so thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one so until then, goodbye! <laughs>